Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'll be doing a quick show and tell on my latest project, my Fallout T60 Power Armor Diorama. So, starting from the base, I modeled up this base here in Fusion 360 based on a Fallout vault door and printed it out on my Prusa Mark II S. To hide the layer lines, I had to prime and sand before I painted it a matte black. For the actual base, I cut out a circle of styrene card and used sculptor mold to build the terrain. It's a kind of cross between paper mache and plaster of Paris. I mixed it with water and it forms a paste that hardens and dries in about 12 hours. Before it hardened completely, I imprinted all the props into it and then removed them so that they would look embedded into the ground. I made a little footprint here as well. Once the sculptor mold hardened, I painted it a red earth by mixing red and brown and gave it a dry brush with a yellowish tan colour. All the props here are 3D printed in resin. I printed all of them out on my SL1 and painted them appropriately. This Nuka Cola vending machine was painted a Coca Cola red first, then paint washed with a dark brown, then I dry brushed rust brown, then silver to simulate rust, and a final dry brush of red earth for the dirt and grime. This plant here is made of some twigs I found in my garden. They end with a kind of round flower bud which at this scale looks kinda alien and irradiated and in keeping with the theme so I kept them on. I painted it black to simulate the charring from a nuclear blast and super glued it to the base. For the T60 power armor, it was 3D printed in a few pieces but it went together with quite a few large gaps, so I had to use this epoxy putty to close them up. I kneaded the two together and worked it into the cracks. I waited a day for it to harden and sanded it smooth. You can hardly see the gaps now, like uh, here on the arms and uh, here on the back. Once I got everything glued up and ready for paint, I airbrushed everything matte black and then a burnt iron base coat. I gave the whole thing a dark paint wash and then dry brushed a bright chrome to highlight edges. I hand painted the rest of the details like the eyes and the various details on the Gatling laser. Once everything was painted, I super glued everything onto the base and airbrushed some matte onto areas on the base I felt were a little too glossy. And that's about it. Thanks for watching my quick showcase, comment any questions you may have, drop a like if you liked it, I'll leave you on a couple close-ups and pictures, see you soon.